This video is very much an extension of the uh, video I did quite a few months ago on uh, VLC uh, ActiveX plugin. We'll call this uh, VLC03-1. Dash autoplay because the trouble with the playlist I introduced in the VLC02 uh, video was that the uh, the playlist didn't really act like a playlist. I think of a playlist as when a, one item finishes in the playlist it automatically starts playing the next item and in fact it didn't do that so what we want to do is get the same two items we had before for some reason uh, v, V2 is already here but if it weren't here you'd have to right click on the toolbar and do a choose items and then do uh, com components COM is actually the old name for ActiveX. It probably confuses a lot of people that COM and ActiveX are used uh, interchangeably so much. After 1996, allegedly, COM became ActiveX. But in fact, I'd say an actual use, COM is still used a lot more than ActiveX. And you select the uh, component you want. In this case, the video LAN. Uh, VLC ActiveX plugin and then click OK and maybe I'll do that again what the heck probably cause everything to mess up and then it'll appear in the uh, the toolbox as a new component and you can drag it over and put it on the form and resize it and then the only other control we really want is the uh, list box so drag over a list box and resize that and that will contain the the playlist or actually a parallel copy of the playlist and give these meaningful names like we'll call this one uh, VLC and call this uh, LBX for list box and good Hungarian notation and videos and then if we double click on the form to go to the code behind there's two usings we need to add the first is uh, using AX, AX VLC, which allows us to access the VLC uh, ActiveX plugin. And the next is using uh, system.io, which will allow us to use directory info and file info which we're directly going to populate the list box with with that instead of uh, doing a open file uh, dialog so if we right click and paste the code in the uh, I go directly to the directory that has those three videos I used in the previous video and I select just the FLC FLVs with the pattern star.flv and the git files of the directory info and then I do a for each and go through each of the videos and add them directly to the list box with the short name and then add them to the playlist with the long name that has c colon slash and fully qualified and also uh, prepends a, a, a protocol type in this case file colon slash 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 you could have something like HTTP colon also or some other protocol for accessing it on the web and you notice as we go through the for each 
these two exactly parallel each other because the list box is zero based and the playlist is zero based so if you click on a uh, a name and the list box the zero and the name for the first one will correspond with the zero in the playlist selection so if we go over and double click on the list box and put in the code for uh, actually playing a video all we need to do is get the selected index from the list box and then pass it to the uh, VLC dot playlist dot play item and use that number to select the playlist item to play so if we compile and run this save it first all we have to do is select an item for it to play this is a test of uh, embedded VLC player uh, test one but you notice as soon as it stops playing it stops playing it doesn't go on to the next item in the, the playlist so what we really need is an event that occurs when uh, we reach the end of the video playing and it turns out there is such an event if I click on the VLC again and then click on the events and go down to uh, let's expand it out so we can see them media player end reached and double click on that this event actually occurs every time a video ends so the code I want I actually want it not just to play uh, the next video but when it gets to the end of the videos to wrap around and go to the first one so I have an if statement that says if the selected index in the list box is less than the count of items in the list box minus one because if the count is three the last item is going to be two so we want to check to make sure that it's it's two or less in order to play it so as long as that condition exists get the next one and uh, add one to the selected index and then update the uh, list box so that the selection will change so in other words if this is one it'll become two and we'll change the selection and we'll play the next item in the list box which will also be two but if we have gone to two then what we want to do is uh, not increment that because we'll go past the end of the list but reset the uh, VLC playlist play item to zero the first item set the index to zero on the list box and then do an update to select that so if we save and run this code well things are going to get a little weird here because uh, it turns out there's an interaction effect between the uh, end of media uh, event in the uh, VLC ActiveX plugin and my video uh, capture uh, software. The video capture software apparently captures that, that uh, event or something and it causes it to hang up. So I'm basically going to run this directly and then capture it with the uh, the webcam off the screen so it'll look the quality will go really crummy but I think you'll see how it works this is a test of uh, the embedded VLC player uh, test one This is a test of the uh, embedded VLC player test 2. This is a test of the embedded VLC player test 3. <laughs> this is a test of uh, the embedded VLC player uh, test 1. Well, the weirdness at the end aside, 
I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.